I teach, oh. I teach little kids how to code and I have to deal with ah, them all the time. Build a bear. Photographer now, but I used to work at Apple Retail. Yes. Ooh, Give me your number, little quick Big air, a trampoline park. Okay, wow, that was already pretty chaotic. Oh my gosh. I was taking the Myers Briggs personality test. I scored a 99% in the extroverted category. Second of all, the. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there are people who score high as extroverts in those tests and are actually not. Mm, yeah, but it's interesting that she says that. Hey, welcome back to Type Evolution, where we learn all about personality type and how to evolve on our personal development journey. I'm Olympia, and this video is going to be about odd one out extroverts and one secret introvert. So this is going to be a really interesting video. I am actually a big fan of Jubilee, and I have not watched this video yet, so this is going to be very fresh for me. I will look at it with new eyes. Before we go into the video though, there is a difference between a cognitive introvert and a social introvert. So the problem is introversion, extroversion, there are two main definitions that are floating around. The one that is the most commonly known in the mainstream is the definition that extrovert is someone who is socially extroverted, meaning that they are sociable. They like to be sociable, they like to be involved with people and so forth versus the asocial person that avoids social gatherings, avoids social situations. The problem with this definition is that a lot of people fall into the cracks here, meaning that there's a lot of people who are actually extroverts, who, for example, have social anxiety and then they don't feel like they are extroverts. Or, on the other hand, introverts that are sociable, meaning that they have a social instinct, that they care about social belonging, they care about politics, community, just social things, groups, things like that. And then they in turn might feel like they are ambiverts or that they are actually extroverts because they prefer those social things and they need to have some kind of social belonging. So yeah, this is the problem with the mainstream definition. So I have no clue which definition they're gonna use. I am leaning towards the mainstream uh, definition. However, it is not entirely wrong per se, it's just very simplistic and not including what actual introversion extroversion is. So the Jungian definition, Carl Jung, famous psychologist, who actually came up with introvert, extrovert, or extravert to be specific, he defined it more as a cognitive, I would say, orientation. So cognitively, an introvert starts with the subjective point of view. It's very much internal, subjective, tied to the subject. So primarily the introvert, whenever they counter information, and information just means anything in the world that they perceive, right, that they cognitively take in, they will confront it or they will deal with it from a subjective viewpoint first. Well, as long as they are being in their natural functioning. It is going to be the preferred method, it's going to be the natural method and yeah, it's a subjective viewpoint. And because of that, the introvert often does have lower energy levels and does speak in a less energetic tone of voice and does have to withdraw more often simply because the viewpoint is internal and whenever the viewpoint is more internal you need to sort of conserve your energy that you spend in the external world naturally. So in that sense yeah introverts they do tend to have the need to withdraw more than extroverts however still they might have the instinctual need to be socially connected and nowadays that can happen easily with social media where an introvert can like kind of withdraw on an energetic level but still be socially connected now the the other thing is with an extrovert because here the focus and the viewpoint is objective meaning it is focused on the object it's externalized that's where the energy naturally goes, the mental energy goes naturally in the external viewpoint, in the objective viewpoint. It is disconnected from the subject. 
So in that sense, that's also why a lot of extroverts tend to have a higher energy levels because their mental energy flows outwards. That's what makes extroverts extroverts. It is the energy focus, but it's especially the cognitive focus. However, having said that, there are extroverts who don't care as much about social things. Social things, for that you should check out my videos about the instincts. There are extroverts who don't care as much about social things and they care more about, let's say, their romantic partner or about their resources. So they can still have an outward focus and they can still have higher energy levels and speak more fast or more loud and things like that. However, they might just not care as much about social belonging or social media and just be more by themselves that's possible but they still will have the need to expand their energy in some kind of way like i said and extroverts have more energy and they tend to also have more expressiveness and you can check out my videos about that so the the difficult thing is that introverts can act up their extroverted side. We all have both sides in us, it's about which side predominates. So an introvert has an extroverted side, so an introvert can play up their extroverted side for let's say limited amounts of time. So this is gonna be a tricky video because someone might just be able to play up their extroverted side and that makes it really difficult to spot who the introvert is. I can also play up my extrovert side. I'm very much aware that that's possible, so this video is not as much educational. We just went through the main educational theoretical focus. It's mostly going to be about entertainment and let's see if I can actually spot who they consider to be the secret introvert. All right, let's go into it. I'm excited. I teach, oh. I teach little kids how to code and I have to deal with ah, them all the time. I'm build a bear. Photographer now, but I used to work at Apple Retail. Ooh, Give me fancy. a number real quick, guys. Big air, a trampoline park. Okay, wow, that was already pretty chaotic. Oh my gosh. We brought together seven extroverts. I'm an extrovert. I am an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. I am an extrovert. One is an introvert. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. It's gonna be if the liar survives, difficult. they win the entire <laughs> okay. prize. Like, based who on this lineup, I, I already don't know. So, okay. <laughs> okay not everybody talk at once. Yeah. First uh, thought that comes to your okay. head when you think about what an extrovert is. Outgoing and friendly. Outgoing and friendly. Yes. Okay. And enjoys uh, meeting new people. Okay, right off the bat, the two first girls who just talked, they actually have an introverted communication style. They actually sound right off the bat like IF type. They don't... Yeah, I made a video about this. They already sound more like calm and might, you know, turn towards the self. And they say, what, is, what do you think extroversion is? Being friendly, outgoing. Once again, it sounds more like the stereotypical mainstream perception of extroversion so like sociability let's just exchange it with sociability i have to find out who's the asocial person in this group yeah because right. we like get energy from being with people yeah, so. yeah like, oh, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Also, gain yeah. she seems more like a ef like extrovert off the bat also her voice was louder but i'm not sure if she's overplaying it right now so let's just continue yeah. Not the same as talkative. There right. are some introverts no. who talk yes. a lot. Yes, so, yeah, but also, also extroverts, talk, they yeah. don't. Zed kind of was like overcompensating a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, it was just a lot of energy. I think it's valid to... Yeah, hmm. Introverts who talk a lot... Depends. I have to say extroverts do tend to talk more. They have more of a word salad going on, especially EF extroverts. But depends, to be fair. There are, there are extroverts who are less stereotypically talkative, especially EST extroverts. Yeah, let's continue. By the way, the, these letters I'm throwing out are the MBTI 16 Jungian type letters. So I also made a video about what the result actually means. So yeah, just if you're familiar with that, I'm throwing out those letters here to be more specific what kind of extrovert we're talking about, but yeah. 
I think it's enough. valid to realize that you need to have a balance, though, as an athlete. Yeah. 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 No, I think what a lot of people don't realize yeah. is so you can true. also need to take a step back. Yeah. 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 I, I don't always need to be so yeah. Like Sometimes I'm, I'm in a bad mood, and uh -huh. like it doesn't yeah. mean that I'm an introvert, yeah. it just means that I'm a human being. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All or fluctuates. Like, yeah. Or like, do y'all ever like just like kind of you can just um, reflect energy from other people? Yeah. Like it's easier, at least for me. Yeah. I think I'm already getting a little bit frustrated because it sounds like a lot of these people are not actual extroverts. Like Brian, Brian sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, gives me an introverted impression. Uh, he just watched my video about the IF voice typing. He he definitely has that sincere communication style. Yeah, it's it's just quite obvious to me. So I have to really focus more on the social extrovert, like the sociable person rather than the actual extrovert. Brian, I thought he was either introverted or on a blurry line of extrovert to introvert. He's actually right. I actually agree with this guy, but for the purpose of this video, we have to focus on sociability, I suppose. He seemed like he was acting a little bit. An extrovert who has good people skills and can lead a group isn't always talking the most. That's true. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I've been in a lot of like small groups for like 20 size people, mm -hmm. and I love those size because you get to meet a lot of people, no. but like, you're not always talking oh. Oh. already. Wow, guys. Okay, I don't actually agree with what he's saying here. Extroverts do tend to lead conversations more. It's just natural to them because, like I said, they have an external focus, objective uh, per point of view, perspective. The other guy who just talked, the tall guy, he might, he might actually be an extrovert, but what he's saying, I'm not entirely agreeing with. It was just an eeny, meeny, miny, mo choice between a lot and Zed, and I was like, a lot didn't talk. Well, I do think Allah is an introvert, like a cognitive introvert, but I think she is a sociable cognitive introvert. I have to admit, I watched another Jubilee video where I saw that she was doing a lot of stuff on social media. So I do get the impression he, she's actually a cognitive introvert, but a like, sociable one. So I would not vote her out in this round. Zed? I'm not sure about Zed. To be honest, he could be an extra, like he could be actually a cognitive extrovert, but a social. I'm not sure about him. Maybe I would have voted him out. I don't know. Yeah, let's just continue. She was the quietest in the group. I Brian, think yeah, Brian. Like I said, quiet. seems like a cognitive introvert, but I think he's sociable, so I would not vote him out. And we have a tie. The tie is between Zed and Brian. Kind of ironic. They often like to pick out people who talk first. There was this other girl, I don't know her name, the girl who doesn't, didn't even talk much. She might be like the secret, like a social introvert person, right? Each of you is going to get 30 seconds to state your case. Funny. Um, <laughs> I just get a little nervous in the beginning, but I like to feel people out first and then I start like getting energy, but I felt a lot of energy from Ellie, a lot, and we did talk over each other a lot. So, I mean, okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm very outgoing, very fun. Hi hey, y'all, I am super extroverted, <laughs> literally 100%. I'm an ENTJ on the Myers-Briggs. Okay. <laughs> I actually thought he could be an ENTP, that was my impression, he could be some, I did think he might be some EN type, ENT maybe, I didn't really think ENTJ, but yeah, let's see. By the way, people can mistype online, okay, just because someone has like ENTJ on their social media, on, on their dating profile, doesn't mean that they are actually ENTJ, that's the problem. A lot of personality type tests are incorrect, a lot of people don't know how to type themselves, it's a problem. It's a big problem, actually. So I would not put too much emphasis on his self-typing here, but it does kind of give a clue. So, and I love talking to people all the time. Literally planning on getting all your phone numbers after the show. <laughs> he did lead the conversation very early on, so uh, it's hard, right? Because you could just think this guy is just trying to be an extrovert, just as if but I, I would not vote him out, so.
<laughs> Usually the show votes off the most like stereotypical person first, so I was trying to not be like super <laughs> lovely, but I like love people. I have to do it. Zed could have been overcompensating, but he did seem very assertive in how he felt about himself. I'm so sorry. Ooh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I said already, I would vote Brian out for not being a cognitive extrovert, but I would have kept him in for being sociable. Especially cognitive introverts who are also quote unquote feeling types, F types in the Jungian system, they tend to be sociable usually because F is that like in relation to people. So it's fine. Girl. <laughs> like honestly that's the i was just at a low energy spot i was feeling it out and so i was like okay whatever so i wanted to talk about the elimination and let me let me say my thing and then i want all of us to do that too if that's yeah this girl on the right who has not even spoken like at, at all she might be the secret one because yeah introverts often blend into the background a little bit right because they don't have as much energy output on average so she might like just stay back and not talk as much and let all the, the talked of people get voted out. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I thought you were the mole and I voted for Zed because yeah. I felt like he was just overcompensating. I definitely wasn't overcompensating. <laughs> if anything, I was undercompensating. Yeah. But you were the one out of the group that was really overexcited. And yeah. I just... It looks like she might be sociable though. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. For sure. I honestly voted for you not. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. It was so confusing. It's okay. I could not hear anybody talking. There were like yeah. two people that stood out. <laughs> but you're just like so cute and sweet. And I oh, you're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Who did you vote for? You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I said I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. He, I mean, once again, I think a lot of people in this video are like cognitive introverts. So, but yeah, I, I maybe would have voted him or the girl next to him on the right. I didn't know anyone, so I just had to choose someone. I'm so okay. sorry. <laughs> if you don't know, it's because you're an introvert and you know that you're the mole. And I wasn't sure because he gave a very convincing an answer Honestly, during the yeah, round. Yeah, yeah. But then you went up to speak and dude, I'm going to be honest, you just seem like a genuinely very nice guy. If I were extroverted, like, yeah, I'd want to get everyone's phone number. I'd be yeah, like, yeah. hell yeah, man. Yeah. I still get the impression that Zed is the actual, maybe even only cognitive extrovert in this video. But if he's actually asocial and avoids social stuff for real, then he might be the mole. So this is really confusing right now, but okay. That's weird because maybe he's slipping up right now. Maybe he is an introvert. And so that's why he said, if I were an extrovert. Yeah. We have we have like six minutes left. Should you do like a question? Yeah. So I was thinking, yeah. 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 So wait, he, he wanted to go uh, first and then you want to go next? Yeah, I was. Do you have a specific like question? I have a question. Or? Yeah. Okay. Because she took the lead, she seemed very assertive, very sure of herself. And that felt to me like she was just doing everything she could to throw suspicion off of herself. What do you guys do as hobbies? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I like that. Can I go first? Go first. Yeah. All right, just because, yeah. Okay, so um, what do I do as hobbies? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hobbies gives a clue into how sociable someone is. So, but I think they're all going to mention something sociable, right? Just to not get voted out. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm an actor. Okay. So, oh, so oh, just, oh, oh, no way. So, like, so introverts can be actors, so yeah. So, oh, just, oh, oh, no way. So, like, so you know, like, you have to be, right there, right there. I mean, you yeah. same way, we have to be extroverted. Um, well, because I was gonna say, I actually didn't want to say I was an actress because I was worried that would plant a seed that they're like, oh, oh she's faking. Yeah. But I'm not just on stage, I'm actually a filmmaker. She started talking about acting because I brought up acting. She seemed to get very defensive and she avoided eye contact. I love going to the ocean. I right. play the ukulele. Awesome. Nice. And like, I'm in sales. So, like, there, that just gives you a lot. For what I do as a job, I actually work at Build a Bear. Right. You have to be like an extrovert and someone who's good with people to work yeah. there, and it's like, oh, it's so life giving. I love it. I actually have all mine in C's Christ, coffee, cycling, computers, <laughs> cameras, and chess. Alliteration okay. moment! Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, those, those hobbies don't sound that sociable. So he gives me the impression of a cognitive extrovert who is kind of a social in the sense that social stuff doesn't matter to him as much so especially things like coffee cycling are like self-preservation activities which tend to be often more associated with like a social stuff 
So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I would vote him out. Based on the hobbies, perhaps. Chef. Alliteration! Yeah. 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 So, I work at a trampoline park right now. You can't work there if you can't handle kids, teens, adults. But my hobbies, I love being outdoors. I'm a Disney fanatic. Yeah. So, when I go to Disneyland and I see birthday pins, I literally go up to random people and I say, Happy birthday. Oh. Okay, these people are m most likely extroverts, but at the same time, are their occupations and their hobbies like really giving us the information we need? Just like plug seconds. something really quick, because yeah. everyone's talking about Java and oh, I'm in the same mind. Okay. I, teach, oh. I teach little kids how to code and I have to deal ah. with them all the time. I do filmmaking, but I also, I'm also a mediator. Yeah. He helps kids yeah. code. Awesome. Build a bear. They're all playing it up right now. I notice uh, they are all like going out of their natural rhythm right now, except for the Zed, ironically. <laughs> Photographer now, but I used to work at Apple Retail for three okay. years. Ooh, Give me a number to look at. Big air, a trampoline park. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mostly because she seemed a little low key, low energy, and it seemed like she was trying to push her energy. I don't know how to pick here. Like I said, I for me, I keep switching between cognitive and cognitive introvert, extrovert, and sociability. That's just confusing, <laughs> right? Uh, so I go back and forth with that. Okay, like I said, I might, if I was just going based off sociability, I would vote that out. But if I went by cognitive extroversion, I would keep him in. Uh, yeah, the women, the thing is most women are indeed F-types. So that are already makes them more quote-unquote sociable, just being an F-type. So I probably would not vote a woman out unless she's really much aware of her introversion. Yeah, Alex, I'm iffy about him. Yeah, maybe I would vote him out for this round. Or Elysia, because she's not talking as much, actually. It's like she's not really saying much of substance in terms of like what's actually going on with her. So we counted all the votes and we have a tie. Oh my god. Oh, Again. another one? <laughs> actually... The tie is between Aaliyah and Ellie. Whoa. What? Yeah, they seem very similar. They could have very similar personalities. So, yeah. Alia, her facial expressions are not, like, she's not that expressive. So I get the impression she's a cognitive introvert or ambivert, as some people like to say. Uh, that she's leaning towards having some extroversion, but not fully. Yeah. Okay, let's see. You guys are going to get 30 seconds each to tell us your most extroverted experience. That's what you mean, right? Like the most sociable experience or something? I was taking the Myers-Briggs personality test. I scored a 99% in the extroverted category. Second of all, the- Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there are people who score high as extroverts in those tests and are actually not. Mm. Yeah, but it's interesting that she says that. Second of all, the big like extrovert experience was two weeks straight in Guatemala with a big group of people. We like did things nonstop. It was so fun. Also, um, I have plans right after this and I'm going to hang out with people immediately after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's based on sociable stuff. So she said like, hanging out in a group, big group of people and having plans with people after this. All right. Yeah, she could be quite sociable if what she's saying is true. <laughs> so I told you guys I have a remote job. Um, so we don't get to ever see each other in person. Even the people that live close by, like we just like don't hang out too often. One of our coworkers who lives in Oregon. You already, like, if you know my voice typing videos, her voice is already not projecting as much naturally. And she's being herself here and it's just giving me a cognitive introversion vibe. He actually came in for two weeks and he was in town and I literally brought everyone together. Like, I was one to bring everyone to my house. And then on top of that, like, I'm just laid back, guys, but I'm, like, for sure extroverted. Mm -hmm. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I mean, she is definitely not, like, total introvert. She does lean towards ambiversion, but, yeah, I, I, get, I still get more the impression she's not a cognitive extrovert. But, yeah, sociable. So I wouldn't, I guess I would not vote her out. Definitely her. <laughs> wow. Oh. I am such an extrovert, but good luck, besties. I didn't vote for you this time. I swear. <laughs> In terms of like also how people see themselves, right? Perhaps the girl on the very right, either her or Alex. I think one of those two is the mole for this video. 
in terms of like sociability and stuff. But yeah, we'll see, I guess. Please raise your hand if you still have doubt and want to continue playing the game. I would keep playing, yeah. Okay. I, I actually, he said, because I want to ask a question specifically to you. Okay, okay yeah. Because yes. right now, straight up, my doubts, I'm going to trust my gut. It's still, you're, I still have doubts about you. And I have doubts about you just because, I don't know why. Yeah, I think because Ala is very sociable, I think she picks up on the fact that Zed is not really so sociable in terms of his outlook. He is, I still think, likely the only cognitive extrovert or one of the only ones in this video. But yeah, he doesn't seem that sociable. So I would I would understand why she's feeling sus about him. About you, just because, I don't know why, but you, when you said your occupation, like, okay, filmmaker, you, you write plays and stuff. But when you look at like famous people right now, they can be extremely extroverted when they're on the stage and then yeah. you leave and like you'll watch so like true. behind the scenes and they're like sitting in the corner on their phone. I wanted to ask you, What's something that's like extremely extroverted that you do at work? You don't you understand I mean? this. Okay, when you're a director, you are mm. literally in charge of everything. everything. You're holding the strings on every single person. You need to make sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. You need to make sure everyone's safe. It's crazy and insane. Yeah. And a lot of people, I think they think because you're behind the camera, it means that you don't want to be seen. You don't want to be in the spotlight. Yeah. But I really thrive in that kind of environment. Yeah. I mean, what she's saying is true. Uh, being a director does require extroversion. It does require extrovert functioning. However, it does not necessarily mean that you have to be an extrovert to do that kind of job. It does go along better with extroversion because, yeah, you are constantly focused on what's going on around you and managing everything around you, which does go along better with extroversion. But there are introverts out there who also do that. The thing is, there are introverts who do extroverted professions, extroverts who do introverted professions. So it's not usually a good indicator to just go based on that. She was trying to gain her energy back. She was talking about what she does for others in the environment, but not very much what she felt. That's what about you? What's something really extroverted that you do? I was at a party, right? Okay. And I got super drunk and okay. I woke up and had so many people's Instagrams followed on my phone. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but this somehow did. And like, I, I think that just goes to show, like, I mm. love talking to people. Yeah, okay, to be fair, people who have cognitive extroversion might end up in those situations more often, but doesn't mean that once you, when you have that once happening or a few times that you are a cognitive extrovert, you could still be a cognitive introvert. 2015, I went to like a church potluck a Sunday afternoon. Everyone wore name tags because that's what you did at, at potlucks. Mm -hmm. I accidentally went to a grocery store afterwards with the name tag still on. <laughs> Two really different people there. made the same joke. And it's like, oh, hey, Zed, how's it going? And so I realized that's two people I met that I wouldn't have otherwise met. I literally wore a Hello, My Name Is sticker for an entire year after that. I no way. One, so that I could have more conversations what? than you. That is so and nice. that is very That is so true. sweet. <laughs> that is Wait, a very extroverted thing. Yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not an introvert. Whoa. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess it is kind of extrovert. It is sociable, right? Hmm. But I'm wondering if he's actually the kind of extrovert with social anxiety and maybe he purposefully did that to push his boundaries and to kind of develop himself and become more sociable. So I'm a uh... reader. I read my whole life. Right. So if you brought up like football or like you brought up filmmaking, I've read something about that because I hate not being in the know. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's why I know that's a lot about introverts. Right. Guys, honestly, I don't think the mole's here. I know. Well, or I, someone's I have, being. I just, yeah. Tired. Someone's just doing really? it. Someone's, oh, okay, Alex. You're the mole. Right? Also, I don't know why, because you're the one that's like taking control, and yeah. I feel like no, if I was an introvert, yeah. that's what I'm that's saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. But me, like, so I don't want to say that it's you, but like. Okay. I felt sad because I thought they betrayed me. Honestly, that's how I felt. Okay. Oh, Seven, oh. six, five. Oh. Honestly, four, three, two, one. I guess I would vote for Alex in this round. I mean, maybe just because he said, you, we think, I think all of them, they, there's no mole here anymore. Uh, I don't know. We have a tie. Yeah, the tie same. is between Ala and Alia. Oh. We're gonna now go into another round of votes. Who would I vote out? I would not vote them out. I don't think either one of them is the more. I'm not sure. Once again, I keep going back and forth between cognitive introversion and sociability. I think they're both. They both might be cognitive introverts. I think they're both actually sociable, but it once again depends a lot on how they perceive themselves. So, it's 
a bit of a wild card. Mm, I saw that coming. Sorry. Oh, I honestly don't nah, think dude. <laughs> Yeah. I think she is not the mole because she seemed very genuine and not like try so hard as the other ones. So. <laughs> Please raise your hand if you want to continue. Majority has voted and we will end the game now. Oh my gosh. Now. She's an Hopefully oh you guys God. voted out the correct people <laughs> oh and you guys God. win. Wow. If the light turns green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the light turns red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Oh. Is it you or is it Alex? Why didn't y'all raise your hands? Is it you or is no, it Alex? I really thought it wasn't. I, is it you or is it Alex? I had a feeling. Something felt off. I am mad not only that I lost, I was the only one who raised my hand. Will the introvert please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> let's see what she says, like her reasoning for, yeah, why she's an introvert. Once again, I keep repeating myself, I think most of the people in this video are cognitive introverts. So, yeah, but in terms of sociability, yeah, let's see what she says. Do it, do it. I did not know. Do it. I'm sorry, I thought it was you. What was I saying the whole time? You did, what was I saying? You, you or you? you, 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 you because because hand if hand. I broke my hand, you guys tied me. Very upset, I'm not gonna lie, because I knew I was right. I felt so bad because we were making friends, but I felt really good that I won. <laughs> When I was a little girl, I was an extrovert. I hated being by myself. And around 14, I noticed that I no longer enjoyed being in groups anymore. Okay, this is a very much sociability definition. So introversion, extroversion doesn't change in the Jungian sense, like in the cognitive orientation sense. You are either an extrovert or you're an introvert. It doesn't change. You are arguably born with it. I would assume that you are born with it. So the fact she says she used to be more outgoing and then later less just so sounds like, I guess maybe her social instinct isn't that high. She doesn't care about social stuff that much and she just became more who she really is in that sense, like in terms of, yeah, going more to what she actually prefers in terms of sociability, but it really depends. Uh, so for some people it's the reverse where they used to be more outgoing as a child and then they become less outgoing when they're older because they become more anxious and more socially anxious and avoid social things out of anxiety so uh, depends hard to say with her right now being an extrovert means loving getting to meet new people and hearing their stories sharing my own story is also very fun you can like that without being a cognitive extrovert, just being sociable. But I do think he is one of the only, if not the only, cognitive extroverts in this video. So in the same way that introversion does not correlate all the time with social anxiety or being shy, um, extroversion does not mean that we never get nervous. As an extrovert, I'm sending love to all the introverts. Yeah, yeah, sure. Extroverts can get shy and have social anxiety, so... Cognitive extroverts. Take your money, you. queen. No, lunch is on me, you guys. Oh, my God. Okay. You just keep it cheap. I'm keep it cheap. <laughs> I'm broke right now. <laughs> not now. Bad, Was my ideology really not, not right, though? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, seriously, this is gonna buy so many books. I swear to God. So that was that. I, I guess I couldn't catch the mole, right? I, yeah, I mean, I did suspect her at some points throughout the video, right? But yeah, overall, too many cognitive introverts in this video that threw me off. So yeah, keep watching my videos. I will put some links down below and yeah, have a good day. If you want me to type you, then go to my website and scroll down and go and fill out the correct form. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.